All right, it's a colorful insect with an innocent sounding name, but don't let that fool you. The spotted lanternfly does much more harm than good. It is an invasive species from China and it has made its way right here to Nashville. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs talked with an expert who say your best bet is to kill them. Even though it's called fly, it's not a fly, it's a hopper and it's an invasive bug to US and uh, came here in 2014 to Pennsylvania. <laughs> A lot of insects call Tennessee home. Many like bees and butterflies help pollinate our plants, while there are others strictly out here to destroy. We have good bugs here. We have the pest species, the bad ones this side. And one being the spotted lantern fly. It can be a devastating pest for fruit tree fruits and also uh, ornamental trees and, and woody uh, trees like poplar, maple and there's like uh, 70 uh, species they can attack. The pest, which is native to China, India, and Vietnam, has called the United States home for nine years. For us, it's very important. Dr. We Kashala so Amarasekar is an entomologist with Tennessee State University. She says Tennessee is now the 16th state to detect them. Any time invasive species come to another location or to a country, we have to be very cautious. They come without their natural predators. Uh, generally, this kind of size bug is very difficult to control by insecticide. The Tennessee Department of Agriculture recently found the spotted lantern fly on a resident's private property in Hermitage. Entomologists say the insect can eat off many trees and crops in our state, making wood product businesses and fruit growers especially vulnerable. Since this species can attack more than one uh, tree or plant, it's very good for these invasive species. That's, and those are very difficult to control. Infested trees may exhibit wilting, defoliation, dieback, yield loss, and in severe cases, death. At this point, we see them, we kill them. That's the point, right? Right now, there are no natural predators to help us get rid of spotted lantern flies. So the Department of Ag says it's up to us to make sure we're doing so. And they say it first starts with, if you see one, document it by taking a picture. And when you're done, kill it. In Nashville, Kelsey Gibbs. News Channel 5. Just like that, Kelsey, thank you. Before you stop that bug, make sure you complete the form on Protect Tennessee Forest website. We have a link to that on our website. That's newschannel5.com.